للون ستيرويد the anti-inflammatory anti-inflammatory drugs. These are include paracetamol, and I talk for you talk for you in detail for paracetamol, and today about the aspirin. <clears throat> the aspirin is an analgesic agent antibiotic agents, as well as anti-inflammatory agents. And this, this uh, indication are depend on the dose of the aspirin. So the action of the aspirin, the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs include the aspirin, have three major therapeutic action or indication. These are anti-inflammatory, analgesic, and antibiotic. The action of the aspirin, as anti-inflammatory agents, because aspirin inhibits the cyclo oxygenase activity, which is the enzyme which are the metabolize the, the prostaglandin. So it diminishes the formation of the prostaglandin. And thus, by this mechanism of action, it modulates those aspects of inflammation in which the prostaglandin acts as a mediator. The aspirin inhibits the inflammation in arthritis, but it is neither arrest the progress of the disease, nor induce remission. So it does not cause <clears throat> arrest or stop the disease, and does not prevent the arthritis from progression. Only anti-inflammatory. The analgesic action of the aspirin, the prostaglandin A2, is thought to be synthesized the nerve ending. So it is thought to be synthesized the nerve ending to the action of the bradykinin, histamine, and other med uh, uh, medical mediator released locally by inflammatory processes. Thus, by decreasing or by inhibiting the prostaglandin A2 synthesis, the aspirin and other non inflammatory drugs suppress or stop or inhibit the sensation of, of the pain. The salicylates in general, including the aspirin, lower the body temperature in patients with the fever by impeding the prostaglandin synthesis and release. So the aspirin resets the thermostat uh, toward the normal and it rapidly lowers the body temperature of the febrile patient by decreasing the the heat desensitization as a patient of sweating. Then a fever patient. يعني الشخص المريض اللي مصاب بالسخونة اللي بسخن ارتفع درجة الحرارة مالته هنا الأسبرين يستعمل as a thermoregulator to effect on the regulatory uh, on the uh, fever regulatory centers in the brain. <coughs> but the aspirin have no effect on the normal body temperature. يعني مثل واحد يقول لك أني أخذ ثلاث حبابي أو أربع حباب لأسبرين على سبيل المثال هو لم سقن وكل شيء ما بي يعني normal normal person. هل إنه يخفض درجة حرارة below the 36 or not? Not. Okay. Because only effect on the thermo regulatory sensors of the patients who have fever. On the respiratory system. What are the action of the aspirin on the respiratory action, on the respiratory system? At therapeutic doses, in the normal doses, aspirin increase the olivular ventilation. The salicylate uncouple oxidative phosphorylation, which lead to elevation of the CO2 and decrease the respiration. So in higher doses of the aspirin, Depending on this, on this mechanism, look, the aspirin and couple oxidative phosphorylation, which lead to elevation of, uh, sorry, which lead to elevated the CO2 and increased respiration. Uh, depending on this mechanism, higher doses work directly on the respiratory center in the medulla, resulting in hyperventilation and respiratory alkalosis. So is the aspirin cause respiratory alkalosis or respiratory acidosis on the 
uh, in uh, high doses. In high doses, the uh, aspirin differ from therapeutic doses because in therapeutic doses, the aspirin uh, cause respiratory alkalosis. On the GIT, normally the prostaglandin, PGI2, prostaglandin I2, inhibit the gastric acid secretion. Whereas prostaglandin E2 and the prostaglandin E2I plus minus stimulate the synthesis of the pro protective mu uh, mucus in both the stomach and the small intestine. So in the presence of the aspirin, this prostenoid, this prostenoid mechanism, this prostenoid are not formed, resulting in increase in the gastric secretion in uh, HCL and diminish the mucus of protection. So the ulceration will occur rapidly. This may cause a big gastric distress, ulceration, hemorrhage, and iron deficiency anemia. Aspirin in a dose of 1 to 4.5 milligram per day can produce loss of blood about 2 to 8 mil of blood in the feces of uh, a day. The effect of the aspirin on the platelet. We know the thrombox, uh, we know the thromboxin as a metabolism of the uh, echidonic acid metabolism. When echidonic acid changed to prostaglandin, it would also change the thromboxin by a different way of uh, uh, metabolism. Thromboxin enhanced the platelet aggregation. The thromboxin enhanced the platelet aggregation. Whereas the prostaglandin I2 decreases it. So low doses, about 8 to 1 milligram of aspirin can irre uh, irreversibly inhibit the thromboxane production in the platelet through the acetylation of the cyclooxygenase. So it can prevent the thrombosis by the way of uh, prevention, the formation of the prostaglandin uh, I2. So, because the platelet lack nuclei, maybe a nuclei, they can't synthesis a new enzyme. And the lack of the thromboxane persists for the life, life, uh, lifetime of the uh, platelet, about seven days. But as a result of uh, the decrease in the thromboxane A2, the platelet aggregation, which is the first system of the thrombus, is reduced, producing coagulant effect with prolonged bleeding time. Finally, <clears throat> finally, the aspirin also inhibits the cyclooxygenase in the endothelial cells, resulting in reduction of the prostaglandin I2 formation. However, the endothelial cell processes nuclei able to resynthesize the new cyclooxygenase. Therefore, the prostaglandin I2 is valuable for the antiplatelet. So, then I'll give you a question. For example, one person wants to do something, or one person wants to do something. الجد الفترة اللي وقفها مال الأسبرين حتى البيشن يقدر يستعيش أو العملية الجراحية سيفلي لازم مو نقول لفد يومين ثلاثة على الأقل جد yes one week seven days ترى في وقت of the aspirin as number one is used as anti-inflammatory agents antibiotic and analgesic uses. The salicylic acid derivatives are used in the treatment of the gout and osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. <clears throat> Commonly, treated conditions require analgesia and include headache, arthralgia, and myalgia. Also used in treatment of headache, arthralgia, Arthralgia and myalgia. Arthralgia means the pain of the uh, joint without 
inflammatory action, different from arthritis and different from osteoarthritis, arthralgy. يعني ألم بالمفاصل بدون التهاب. Okay. External application of the aspirin. Aspirin can be used externally. استعمل في علاج حب الشباب. أيضا استعمل في علاج الوارس الكورن الكال الكال ال كاليسز البسامير اللحمية. هنا in different concentration. So can be used topically to treat the corns, wars. Methyl salicylate is used externally. هنا أنا يحضروا على شكل مثال سالسلية الأسبرين هو سالسليك أسيد في يحضروا بواسطة يضيفون آه عليه آه some concentration of the spirit and آه it will change to methyl salicylate which can be used externally for these conditions on the cardiovascular uh, application On the cardiovascular system, the aspirin can be have play a role. That the aspirin is used to inhibit the blood aggregation as anti-platelet. So, low doses are used prophylactically. One, شو كنت نستعمل low doses prophylactically؟ هسا شوفون كثير من الناس عندهم اسبرين يقول لك أنا استعمل هذا يفيدني وقاية لأمراض القلب. Number one. To reduce the risk of recurring transient ischemic attack (TIA) and stroke or death in those who have had single or multiple episodes of transient ischemic attack or stroke. Two, reduce the risk of the death in those who have acute myocardial infarction. Three, reduce the risk of recurring non-fatal myocardial infarction, and or Death in patients with the previous myocardial infarction or unstable anginal angina pectoris. Four, it will reduce the risk of myocardial infarction and sudden death in patients with the chronic unstable angina. Five, it will reduce the cardiovascular risk in patients undergoing certain revascularization procedure. And only so long, amelet tarqir sharain. التاجية مثلا بايباس كورونري بايباس هسه هذه كلش مهمة شباب بلا زحمة إذا ترسلون اللينك مال الحضور الدوزجز أوف ذا أسبرين الجرعة مالها دوزجز The salicylate exhibit analgesic activity at low dose. Only at higher doses do, do, uh, do those drug show anti-inflammatory activity. So the aspirin in low dose, but not in very low dose. In low dose, act as analgesic. But in high dose, it has anti-inflammatory activity. For example, Two tablet of 32.5 milligram of aspirin administered four times daily produce analgesia, while 12 to 20 tablets of 3.25 milligram lioyai doses of aspirin, the ones that are available in the market, the sedatives, the nitrogen, the ones that are used for the or the rheumatism, or the ones that are used for the muscles, and so on. Then. ب 12 الى 20 حبايه من هاي الجرعه بروديوس بوث انالجيسي اند انتي انفلاميتري اكتيفيتي. But for long term myocardial infarction دول اللي عندهم myocardial infarction يعني for to prevent ischemia for those who are for long term myocardial infarction prophylaxis the dose is 81 to 162 milligram per day is enough. For those with rheumatoid arthritis or osteoarthritis, the initial dose is three gram per day. For stroke prophylaxis, يعني عندهم CVA, the dose is fifty to three to five milligram per day. No, عندهم CVA. In patient having acute myocardial infarction, هذا اللي دخلوه مثلاً 
بالانعاش ثاني يوم مثلا بعد ان يشوفه صار زين The dose is 162 to 3 to 5 milligram of non-coated, non-enteric, sorry, non-enteric coated aspirin. Chew it or swallow it immediately. يعني أما تنقرط في الفم تنعلس يقرطها يبلعها. Non-enteric coated. But not enteric coated top. These are chew it or swallow it immediately. The side effect of the aspirin, adverse effect, the most common GIT effect of the, sorry. Are epigastric distress, nausea, vomiting, the microscopic GIT bleeding is almost Universal in patient treated with the salicylate because not aspirin is an acid. At the stomach, the BH aspirin is unchanged. Consequently, it readily cross into the mucosal cell, whereas it ionized means it become negatively charged and become trapped. The uh, salicylic acid will be trapped, it will cause trapping to the mucosa of the GIT cells, thus potentially causing direct damage to the cells. And it, it have direct damage by trapping, by entrance of the uh, <clears throat> acetyl salicylic acid to the mucosal cell. Aspirin should be taken with food and large volume of fluid to diminish dyspepsia, but not to diminish ulceration, okay? Because <clears throat> the uh, uh, ulceration or damage to the mucosal cell does not affect only by the using of the aspirin orally, can be also act or can be also, uh, can be also uh, caused if the aspirin given intravenously or IM or Uh, perfectly, okay. يعني مثلا واحد عنده قرحة نازفة شباب هو thank you very much دول مثلا واحد عنده قرحة نازفة فمثلا يعني ما ياخذ الاسبرين بس اورالي مثلا يقول لك انا ياخذ اسفجيك اللي هو اسبرين نطي باي اي ام او باي اي بي فيقول لك تاثيراته تكون قليلة على الجي اي تي السر لا هنا أنا بالحقيقة ذا اسبرين ات ويل افكت اولسو سيستميكلي ات ويل افكت سيستميك سيستميكلي اون ذا جاستريك السر But the effect directly on the gastric mucosa by the tarping phenomena, by tarping of the acetylic acid on the mucosal cell. Additionally, the muco, the mesoprostol or proton pump inhibitor, mesoprostol is a derivative of prostaglandin, is good drug for the treatment of the gastric ulcer due to non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs ulceration. together with a proton pump inhibitor or alone. But we have many side effects of the mesoprostol, especially for the gestational female, because the mesoprostol may cause a portion. So we need to stop. Well, we have to for those female patients who have gastric ulceration due to aspirin or aspirin derivatives or non anti-inflammatory drugs. Or we change to other drugs which are bottom bump inhibitor like omprazole, lansoprazole, ila akhirihi. Those dependent effects of the salicylate on the blood. 
the irreversible acetylization of the platelet cyclooxygenase reduced the level of the platelet to tryptophan A2, resulting by this way it will resulting in inhibition of the platelet aggregation. Manat will cause a bleeding and prolong the bleeding time. For this reason, aspirin should not be given for at least one week prior to surgery. You want to get the kumiya for كان مثل واحد يشتع سنة بيصير يقول له طيب الأسنان أو طي أو أي طبيب مثلا إذا يقول له روح الطبيب فحص قبل لا تجيني في زقتك مثل ويسأل له تأخذ مثلا بلافيكس أو مثلا تأخذ إسبرين أو تأخذ برزانتين هي هاي كلهن أنتي بليتيت أجريجيشن المفروض نقول له توقفها على الأقل فد ثمان أيام نطي يوم واحد أيضا احتياط هو المفروض سبعة أيام أوكي <تصفيق> because the lifespan, the, the lifespan of the platelets is one week. In one week, after the platelet, we can't make the thromboxane because it was lack of nuclei. This is the causes. When salicylates are administered, the anticoagulant may have to be given in reducing doses, uh, dosages and careful monitoring and counseling of the patient are necessary. يعني إذا البيشنت ورا ما نسوي له العملية لازم نعيد له الأسفرين جرادجولي شوية شوية نزود جرعة مالته إلى أن نوصلها إلى الجرعة اللي يحتاجها البيشنت حتى بريفنت بليدنج. On the respiratory system in toxic doses in high doses the salicylate or aspirin cause respiratory depression and combination of uncompensated respiratory and metabolic acidosis. In metabolic processes, large doses of the aspirin and coupled the oxidative phosphorylation. And the, uh, uh, the energy normally used for the production of the adenosine triphosphate is dissipated as a heat, which explains the hyperthermia caused by the, by the salicylate. When uh, uh, taken or when is given in high dose in high toxic quantity. Also, uh, aspirin have hypersensitivity reaction. Approximately about 50% of patients who have taken the aspirin experience sensitivity to aspirin. I can give you a kind of a little bit 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 of uh, will experience hypersensitivity reaction. These are in, uh, in, including allergy, true allergy, which are include articaria, uh, bronchoconstriction, which will lead to dyspnea, and geodema. Fatal anaphylactic shock is occur, but is it, it is very rare. Also, in the the SVG, the vial of aspirin. <coughs> very fast or very uh, uh, by IV very fast, it will be may lead to an anaphylactic shock. Okay. Other <clears throat> side effect which are famous or it will be uh, combined with the aspirin to cause Ray syndrome. Aspirin and other salicylate given during viral infection has been association with the increased incidence of Ray syndrome in children. يعني دول الكيلدرين إذا صار عندهم رئيس فيرال إنفكشن ونعطيهم دي أسبرين أس أنتي بايرتيك دراكس دوس بيشين ماي ديفلوب رئيس سيندروم which is an often fatal fulminating hepatitis with cerebral edema يسوين لل للطفل fulminating or fatal fulminating hepatitis قاتلة التهاب الكبد الفيروسي القاتل ويسوي لنا سربر الأدمة and may lead to death ولهذا السبب هسه حاليا ما نشوف احنا الأسبرين اللو دوز يستعمل for the indication يعني الانديكيشن ماله not be given to the children at all the low dose in very مثلا 81 أو مثلا 100 ملي جرام أو 160 ملي جرام of aspirin and I'm going to use it for children for prevention of the 
او انديكيشن فور ذا فيفر ليش حتى لو كانت هاي الفيفر الكوزمال بكتيريال لانه قد يكون ف يوز ديفلوبمنت اوف ري سندروم وري سندروم از فيتال ديزيزز may lead to death of the uh, new babies. Other non-estimental inflammatory drugs, halasnal aspirin, asa'adnal other groups. Number one, probionic acid derivatives, اللي تشمل لنا الايبوبروفين اللي هو البروتين هو جروب ذيس دراك از جروب از دراك اوف ذيس جروب اللي نسميها بروبيونيك اسيد ديريفيتيفز بعد الكيتوبروفين والاوكسا بروزين الجروب الفور ان اول واحد من البراستامول تو اسبرين 3 بروبيونيك اسيد ديريفيتيف 4 اسيتيك اسيد ديريفيتيفز اللي هو الاندوميتازين اندوسيت سلندك And ito dolak. Oxycam derivatives. These are involves the biroxicam and niloxicam. Phenym phenymate derivatives. اللي هي مفينامك أسيد اللي يشمل يعني معنا معنا هالبولستان اللي موجود اسمه تجارب الصيدليات. Heterorayal acetic acid. اللي هي دايكلوفينات اللي هي والبولتارين والتالميتين. داكلوفيناك هو البولتارين. It is heterorayal hetero acetic acid. نابيو ميتون اللي هو نابيو ميتون والسيليكوكسيب اللي هو السيليكوكسيب. سيليكوكسيب جروب اكزامبل اوف ذيس از سيليكوكسيب. اذا تذكرون احنا بالبدايه مال المحاضره قلنا لكم على ال The rofecoxib and valticoxib are the drugs from the markets. تمام لهم تمام شباب عددكم اثنين وثمانين قليل إيش عجب على كل. ليش هاي سحبة من الأسواق لأنه تأثر لنا على من على الكارديوفاسكولار سيستم. فنسحبة من منظمة الصح الصح من منظمة الغذاء والدواء العالمية. فاتخذوا الإجراءات التالية one two three هاي الإجراءات مهمة جدا. لوضع او ل تنطبق المفروض على النون سرودال كاميتال دراكس ومع ضمنها الكوكسب دراك اللي هي هسه اخر علاج قلت لكم مثلا اللي سمحوا له اللي هو السيليكوكسب سيليكوكسب Is a drug which can be recommended, which, uh, which is recommended by FDA, which can be used for the as anti-inflammatory agents and also good analgesic agents. But uh, the clinical uses of the uh, silicoxib in the uh, clinical uh, ways is only anti-inflammatory agents. It have uh, no or little. A cardiovascular effect on the GIT. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.